So we know that there are 200 students and we know that there are eight cultural performances. We want to know how many students on average attended each cultural performance. And you might be tempted to say, well, if you just divide 200 by eight, that would give you the average number of students attending each performance. But you'd be making the assumption that every student attended exactly one cultural performance. Maybe some students didn't attend any. Maybe some students attended all eight of them. So we are going to need statements, and that's a clue that you're on the wrong track, right? If you're looking at a data sufficiency question and thinking, I can already answer this, I don't need statements, well, that means you misunderstood the question or you made a bad assumption. So I'm going to start with statement one. It seems a little bit easier to evaluate. Knowing that every student attended at least one cultural performance, that takes care of part of our bad assumption, right? So now we know that all of the students did attend at least one cultural performance each, but that still leaves a lot that's unknown, right? Uh, the students could have attended exactly one performance or two performances or all the way up to eight performances. So on its own, I just don't see how statement one could be sufficient for us to figure out the average number of students at each cultural performance. Now the second statement gives us an average. It's not the average that the question was asking for. It's the kind of the other side of that coin. It tells us that on average, each student attended four performances and we wanted to know on average how many students attended each performance. But if we know that each student, so it's 200 students, and each of them attended four performances on average, that means that there were in total 800 attendees. So what I did is I multiplied the number of performances per student by the number of students, and that gives me the total number of performance attendance. Let's call it that. Well, if we know that the total number of performance attendance was 800, and we know that there were eight performances, we could figure out that average number of students per performance, it would be 800 divided by the eight performances for 100 students per performance on average. And therefore the correct answer is B. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.